that uses non-violent civil disobedience to force governments to take real and urgent action on the climate crisis. Our aim is to prevent societal collapse and human extinction. Donald Trump is the head of one of the world's biggest and most important countries. We should be playing a pivotal role in tackling climate change and the ecological emergency we now face. Instead, Trump has rolled back environmental regulations, pulled the United States out of the Paris, Peace, uh, Paris Climate Agreement, and repeatedly tweeted that climate change is a hoax. He is the number one climate change denier in the world, but not when it comes to his own personal interests. Because we and he wants to build a seawall to protect his Dunebeg Hotel, he cites climate change, rising sea levels, as a reason to be able to build it. So it's one rule for him, and it's one rule for the rest of us. <laughs> Meanwhile, the people that he has sworn an oath to protect in America are dying as a result of climate change. Last November, in Paradise, California, a wildfire swept through, destroyed the entire town, and killed 85 people. And he blamed it on bad forest management. Scientists blame it on climate change. The next step his administration are taking is that they are attacking climate science itself. They are refusing to let US administration climate projections go past the year 2040. The aim of that is to stop people in America knowing the climate crisis is going to affect them and how bad it's going to be so him and his friends can continue emitting greenhouse gases even faster than they are now. We are being asked to sacrifice our children and our grandchildren's lives for the opportunity of a very small number of people like Trump to continue to make enormous amounts of money. We will not let the world end like this. <laughs> Extinction Rebellion demands that governments tell the truth about the climate and ecological crisis that we face. And the truth is this. The world is heating up 20 times faster than the historical average. The, the last five years have been the hottest five years on record. And the last time the Earth's atmosphere contained this amount of carbon dioxide was three million years ago, and there were trees in Antarctica. We are in the process, scientists tell us, of setting off an irreversible chain reaction way beyond human control. That will be the end of civilization as we know it. And the crisis is not something in the future, it's with us now. It's 50 degrees in India right now. Continuous cyclones are hitting Mozambique. And just today, the Irish Times said that 350,000 people per year here in the European Union are dying because of fossil fuel air pollution. This is not something for the future. This is killing us here and now. We must act. But Trump isn't the only leader who is a climate change denier. We do not have to look far from home. Climate delayers, climate change deniers are as good as each other. A month has passed since the doll passed the climate and biodiversity emergency. What have they done? Any emergency meetings? No. Any emergency legislation? No. What they've done is try and kill the Climate Emergency Measures Bill. They are trying to kill what is going to save us. They're fine taking selfies with student strikers and posting it on Twitter, but they're not taking any sort of meaningful action that's going to save their futures. We will not let our politicians get away with Trumpian promises. The climate and the biosphere don't care about words. They care about action. And that action is to keep fossil fuels in the ground. Extinction Rebellion demands that the Trump and Irish governments take meaningful climate action now. Across the world, Extinction Rebellion activists are taking part in civil disobedience. In America, we blockaded the Brooklyn Bridge. We have blockaded parts of San Diego and Los Angeles. But this is just the beginning. We can't save the world by playing by the rules anymore. Everything needs to change, and it needs to start today. So everyone out there, now is the time for civil disobedience. Now is the time to become a rebel, because there's no time after this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kira.